Build the dream in FIFA 20, pay less and get more, and use the code TVM at checkout for a bigger discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video, a spooky video today. We're going to do a screen predictions, oh hang on a minute, I thought they were already released. EA are going to release another set of 11 I believe on Friday, and of course we don't know who they are. So we might as well try and guess, or at least... Not, not guesses in prediction, although it is called a prediction. It's kind of players I'd actually like to see and stats I'd like to see boosted. They did an extremely good job with the first set, so I'm hoping they get the second set right as well. Uh, Danilo is going to be my first pick here. Would be a really nice card to have because I found myself constantly uh, going toward this guy. Like, I, I'm building teams and in my right back position, I'm always like, oh, it's going to have to be Danilo because I can't put anyone else there who fits in, and Danilo doesn't have that great a card, so it'd be really nice to see him get an upgrade. I would actually prefer to see the dribbling be boosted over the passing, but either way, that would be a pretty decent card uh, to start us off with anyway. David Luiz up next. This one is uh, it's kind of it's like an obvious choice, isn't it? He's kind of like a, um, you know, the Sideshow Bob kind of Treehouse of Horror kind of player. Uh, decent pace boost on him as well. I think he's up from 60s into the 80s, which would be really nice. And I think his dribbling has also been boosted. I've, I've done these all in one go, and I can't remember which stats have been boosted where. But either way, that would make him a, a decent centre-back. But you could even move him into a, like a CDM role, and he'd be a great little card. Uh, moving on to Sanchez, now in the French League, of course. Not a massive upgrade in terms of overall. I think he's gone up by maybe 5, 4 or 5 which seems to be about the norm for the lower rated cards, but uh, an, in an insanely good physical boost up to 90, and of course his passing is now up to 86 as well. So that is, I mean, that would be a great card, wouldn't it? I, I don't think it would be that expensive, but it would be, it would have enough of a bite that if you actually packed it, you'd be really excited about packing it. It's like all of the screen cards so far. Wayne Rooney. Um, he's played his final game for DC. I think they've been knocked out of whatever the playoff or whatever they were in. So technically speaking, he's on his way to Derby, I think. But he is still a DC player for the time being. And EA have favoured MLS cards so far. So wouldn't be surprised at all to see, not Wayne Rooney specifically, but any MLS player get it. You know, they've given us three quality MLS SBCs, at least three so far, with Player of the Month and, of course, Schweinsteiger. They gave us Scream Ebra. You could build a great team, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Wayne Rooney. Moving on to Sissoko, a bit closer to home for Premier League fans. This card would be ridiculous. I mean, we're talking end game even now. They've given us Undombele as a once to watch, and, of course, he was like one of those starter players that people were buying and had a, a, a sort of big value. Sissoko is yet another one of those. But now that he's dropped off a little bit, you know, his price has come down and people are starting to upgrade beyond him. How awesome a VA would it be to be like, oh, don't forget this guy. He is an 85 rated or an 84 rated version. He'd be so overpowered. Naldo, uh, trying to keep the old FIFAs alive. I've gone for a few players who, you know, had good cards in the past or were always sort of tipped to be good players. And if either dropped off or just didn't really get there. Naldo is one of those cards that used to be really good in previous FIFAs. He's dropped off a lot this year. However, with a little boost from EA in the screen promo, we could be seeing a usable Naldo. 75 pace with a massive boost in physicals as well, up to 88. That would be a really good card, actually, if you do have a side you can fit him into. Now, I did originally have Hulk here, but uh, as just after I finished recording it, EA released the Hulk SBC. So I've replaced him, very nice, quick and easy change, to Taliska. And it wouldn't surprise me if they did this, actually, because then people who did Hulk would want to go and buy this card or go and pack this card. It would be a very clever move, and it would be a great card as well. I've boosted him a little bit more than I think EA might do, but uh, I'd be very, very up for this one. 88 passing, 88 dribbling, nice physical boost, decent shooting, good pace. Just a great little card all round. Back to the Italian league, Barini. This would not be a desirable card for many people. In fact, it probably wouldn't be that um, expensive. You're probably looking at about 30, 40k max, and I'm, I'm being generous there. But I wouldn't mind seeing this kind of thing, you know. I've, I've not really seen them boost more than, what, two stats so far? Maybe they could even it out, so Barini could maybe have like 86 pace, 85 dribbling, and then maybe 80 passing, 80 shooting or something. I don't know, but... Um, I'd like to see cards like this, you know, completely unusable ones right now, boosted. Moses being another one. Of course, I've gone back in time a little bit here because Moses have had 
Um, some usable cards over the years with Chelsea, uh, some right wing back cards I remember being pretty decent. 90 pace, 90 dribbling. The rest of his stats are sort of mid 70s, so they're not great. And again, it wouldn't be a bad thing if he had like, I don't know, 87 pace, 86 dribbling. And then you distributed the, the, the rest of the points out between physical and passing or even shooting and passing. But uh, either way, it would be nice to see the lower rated cards get some love. Paulson. A player who in real life in the last few games or so actually hasn't played that well. But at the start of the season, started relatively well. And last year had a, a banger of a year, really. I was kind of hoping he'd continue doing that this year, but not so much so so far. But, I mean, a great-looking card if he can get it. It's not really what I would call a meta card because his dribbling isn't there. And maybe the boost could be the dribbling instead of the shooting. But I thought... You know, given the fact that he's a striker, EA would probably boost the shooting. It doesn't look like a bad card at all, to be fair, if you don't really rely on the dribbling stats. Kolasinac, I mean, let's be honest, he's a bit of a scary bloke in real life. I think he fought off, like, armed robbers or something a few uh, few weeks or months ago. So I uh, would not be surprised at all to see this guy given a scream card. Is that a usable card? I think I think so. Um, I've given him a physical boost. I don't know whether EA would do physical or defensive. I think physical seems to be a popular one uh, for the Scream cards. You know, like Bernard has been given a nice physical boost. There's a few other players in there with really good physical boosts, so wouldn't be surprised. Moving on to Boateng, a player who is still semi-usable, but I think he's lost his way a little bit just because of that pace and how important pace is for defenders in FIFA 20. So let's give him a pace boost up to 80. His defensive stats are good, physicals are good, dribbling is now up to 80 as well. That looks like a really good card. You know, 87... I think we're accustomed to seeing an 87 Boateng along the way. So, again, I wouldn't be surprised to see it. I'd be very happy to see it as well. I think with what I've packed recently, I don't think I'd go out and get him again. But he's a very... Actually, maybe I probably would, actually. He's a very good card. Uh, going away from the top five leagues and to one of our highest rated cards, we're going to look at Tadic. I would love to see EA give a lot of love, not just to the Dutch league, but to every league. You know, there there are fans of every league and team in the game around the world. You can't just show love to the top five. I've tried to include a couple, but I know EA won't do it, so that's why I've not included too many. But Tadic as an 88 would be something to think about. You know, you'd either go and get him and use him as a super sub, or you get him and maybe even try and build a few players around him, Quincy Promise, etc. Moving on to Kessie, one of those cards that, to be fair, I didn't see an awful lot of in the very beginning, and I'm I'm genuinely surprised that I didn't because he has an unbelievably well-rounded card. So the fact that we've gone beyond the starter cards now maybe EA could bring this up to standard and give him a nice boost here or there he had great physicals anyway so I've not boosted that I've actually boosted the shooting and the dribbling believe it or not that would be a phenomenal card I'd prefer a passing boost but you know EA won't do it how everyone wants it Jovic I'm not entirely sure how much football he's had for Real Madrid this year but Judging by the lack of uh, names on score sheets and the fact that I've not had him once in my Team of the Week predictions, I would assume it's not a lot of football. Therefore, give him a scream card. You know, give him give him that upgrade that he's probably not going to get through, you know, domestic football. 90 shooting, 86 passing, and of course, uh, he's got 83 dribbling as well. He's not, he wouldn't be the most desirable card in the game, but it would be a really nice goal-scoring card to have. This, however, would be... I mean, it would be in everyone's team. This is proper end game stuff, and he looks brilliant. Uh, Partey, 86 rated, not the highest rated card in the game, but 88 passing, 90 physical, decent defensive stats, decent dribbling stats as well, and of course he's not the slowest player with some decent shooting for a CDM or a CM. That would be brilliant. I'd love that card. It would make me rethink my entire team, although I can't imagine you'd get much change out of 300,000 coins for that card. That would be ridiculous. A uh, bit of a blast from the past here with Juan Mata. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Manchester United player in the scream on Friday. You know, we've had uh, the Milner of Liverpool. We've had a Manchester City player. Uh, it wouldn't. It would not surprise me in the slightest to see some other sort of top Premier League teams. You know, make make your make your jokes if you will. But Man United is still a top side, and. Um, yeah, it would uh, it would be nice to see someone like this there. I don't want Rashford or anything like that. I want a player who is unusable to have usable stats. And Mata definitely fits that category. And finally, the scariest man in world football, Luis Suarez. If you go near him, you are going to get bitten. 90 shooting, 87 pace. That would be a brilliant upgrade. The card in uh, his base card, actually, is actually a very good card anyway. I really like his base card. 
Uh, it just it does lack a little bit of pace, and that's all it really needs. So the fact that we've given him a nice little pace boost there, nothing too crazy. You know, we're not bumping up to 90 or anything, but just a little pace boost, some some nice physicals and dribbling in there as well. Just looks like a really good card, and that is something that has to happen. I'm pretty sure. I think I've seen like a few leaks here or there where um, Luis Suarez's card has been quote unquote leaked, but obviously it didn't happen. Everyone thought the leak was fake, but it could possibly be in the second squad. Who knows? Um, there are a lot of players that you could potentially give screen cards to. I mean, I could literally sit here and do the entire database. I'm not going to because I don't have that much time and I'm pretty sure everyone would get bored. But um, if, you, if you have a card in mind you'd love to see that you think fits the screen promo that haven't hasn't been given one yet, then feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed this, then do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.